Good morning. It's great to have your company this Thursday, the 7th day of October. My name is Jessica Ramirez, a senior market analyst with Bell Direct. Well, the Aussie share market is probably going to attempt to rebound and recover from yesterday's fall. So could the Aussie share market close higher this week for the first time in five weeks? That's the question. New South Wales has passed its 70% double dose mark and gyms and restaurants reopen next week while the oil price has pulled back. Now let's quickly go through overseas markets. Well, stocks rebounded in the US overnight for two key reasons. US investors got a a tiny sigh of relief or breathed a tiny sigh of relief because the US debt ceiling looks to possibly be extended. So this could avert the US government defaulting on their debt on October 18. Also overnight, a renowned uh, Wall Street commentator came out saying investors should buy the dip into tech stocks as markets are attempting to find support. So today, what to watch locally for us? Well, there's four key areas. Firstly, the futures are suggesting the Aussie share market will rebound and rise half a percent and recover some of yesterday's 0.6% fall. Remember yesterday, the Aussie share market fell after the New Zealand Reserve Bank surprisingly increased their interest rates. So that affected sentiment here on the ASX because investors began to question, well, what if the Reserve Bank of Australia does the same thing? But it is important to also recall that the Aussie share market is actually up slightly for the week. It's up 0.3% Monday to Wednesday. Um, leaving some investors thinking that uh, our market could close higher for the first time in five weeks, which will be a step in the right direction. What else to watch? Well, secondly, commodity stocks should get a bit of attention today. The oil price has sunk to a half percent, falling from its seven-year high. Um, recall that oil prices are up uh, 50% this year, though. Elsewhere, iron ore prices remained pretty flat on limited trading activity, while thermal coal prices, remember thermal coal is a somewhat known as dirty coal that's used in electricity generation, thermal coal prices fell out of bed, falling 10% from their record high. The third focus area to watch today, travel, tourism, food and beverage stocks, because New South Wales is reopening its economy effectively next week. With this in mind, Australia will get a services sector reading for September today. However, data um, won't be looked at too much on this uh, front, uh, given the restrictions in place last month. The fourth focus area today, there's some companies going ex-dividend, ARB, the four-wheel drive accessory business, and McMahon Holdings, MAH. Trading ideas that could be worth a look, here's one. City uh, re-stamped. Austal, the shipbuilder ASB, as a buy, a $3.10 target, implying over 60% share price growth in a year. What happened recently? Well, Austal won uh, the US Navy's T, ATS contract. This is for towing, salvage, and rescue ships. Um, This is a particularly uh, significant contract win for Austal because it's a key part of the US Navy industrial base. Um, and City thinks that if Austal successfully execute this contract, uh, they should get an upper hand and uh, potentially gain a larger steel uh, program in the US Navy. Um, also, I mean, Austal is not just a one trick pony, they're also in the process of acquiring a dry dock in San Diego. Um, Austal, also keep in mind that this is um, the key top pick in small caps for City. Um, City also says with that in mind, ASB is about 80% undervalued and cheaper than its global defence peers, especially considering Austal um, is got a huge footprint print, um, in the industrial base in the US, Australia and the Philippines. But wait, there's more. If you're into technical analysis to back up your decision making, for ASB, I'll still uh, bear with me. The moving averages, the 15 and the 30, look like they're just about to flag a very strong bullish signal. It's called the Golden Cross. Simply, it means the stock could rally. Secondly, the MACD, another technical indicator. That's also indicating that ASB could also charge up 
Both of these technical indicators support cities by call. So there you have it. Other trading ideas that could be worth a look, bullish charting signals seen in QBE insurance, QBE is their ticker, high pages, HPG and premium. PPS. And that's according to Trading Central. I'm Jessica Ramirez with Bell Direct. Stay safe. Let's have a great day.